Hey everyone, we're here to show you how to install the new preload axle and end cap for your Onyx Ohm BMX rear hub. Uh, this is a standard feature on our new 2021's uh, Ohm batch and it is retrofittable to our previous batches already out in the field. Uh, you want to begin with a couple of simple tools, an 8mm hex key, 20mm cone wrench, and a 20mm open end wrench. Um, and then you're going to be using your frame to do the final adjustment. For this video we're going to use a pair of uh, display stands to simulate that. You want to begin by go ahead and removing your axle bolts. Just set those aside. You're going to need them at the end. <clears throat> go ahead and remove the non-drive side end cap. Push on the axle to get the driver out. Once that's out, you can go ahead and pull the axle. Go ahead and recycle this. Now your new axle has a shoulder end on one side and a tapered end on the other. The tapered end goes in towards the non-drive side of the hub. Once that is in, you can use the end of the axle to line up your driver and give it a counterclockwise rotation to insert it back into the clutch. Go ahead and install your drive side end cap. And then install your axle bolt loosely for now. <clears throat> your new non-drive side end cap will slide on. And you can go ahead and install your other axle bolt. Now once you get this bolted into the frame, for the first adjustment, you want to make sure you tighten the drive side and uh, axle bolt first. Uh, you want to torque those uh, to a max of 15 newton meters. 6 or 7 newton meters is more than enough to hold the wheel on at most times. Uh, and then you follow it up with your non-drive side. Same thing, a max torque of 15 newton meters. Uh, really 6 or 7 newton meters is all you'd need. Uh, they just got to be snug. The chain tensioners will do the rest. So once you have that on and snug, you notice the end cap's not adjusted yet. You're going to have some side to side play in the hub. So, this black end cap using your cone wrench can turn independent of the outside end cap that's against your frame. Uh, when it is tightened counter or loosened counterclockwise, you're adding side to side play in the hub. When you tighten clockwise, it will alleviate side to side play. Now what you like to do is tighten clockwise until you just remove any side to side play in the hub, but not so much that you start to bind it. So once you fine tune that adjustment, go ahead and bring this silver jam nut right up against it. Now using your open end box wrench, go ahead and hold your black end cap and then snug up the jam nut against it. Usually about a quarter turn isn't more than enough to hold it in, in play. You can check for free spin, make sure there's no side to side play. You're ready to go.